So what I've already went ahead and done is brush out my hair after I showered and just ran the blow dryer through it. I did not use any sort of technique at all as you can tell, I didn't even round brush it or anything, I just wanted to get it dry. Now I'm going to tame my hair a bit, give it a little bit of more shape by just running a clipless curling iron through it. And this is the Sadu clipless curling iron, I got mine at Folica, just a quick way to get curls in your hair and kind of just tame if you have very thick and coarse hair. It's a quick quick way to tame it. I'm going to curl my curls. And you guys all know how to do this, but I'm just going to quickly show you. We're going to curl away from the face. So I'm going to take a piece starting in the front and I'm going to rotate it down the barrel and away from the face. I'm just going to leave it for a few more seconds. And I've heard that line before. And if you guys haven't seen that video of the girl where she leaves her hair in the curling iron for over 20 seconds and it just fries off. I'm gonna link that in the description box because it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I always think that now when I curl my hair. So now we are going to get into the braiding portion of this tutorial and it's going to be a Dutch style braid which is the inside out kind of looking braid, also known as the Katniss braid, also known as the 3D braid. The way we're going to get started is picking up a section of hair in the front and I'm going to section it into three. It's always how you want to start a braid is with three pieces. Once you have the three, I'm going to, you're always going to want to take the outside piece and put it underneath and in between the two other pieces. You're always putting the outside piece into the middle. So now that outside piece is coming underneath and going in the middle. So once you do that, you pick up hair as you go. So I'm going to pick up some hair as we go down because I do want to go down and get it a little bit thicker as we go. So I'm going to pick up hair in the front, on the outside here, bring it under and into the middle. Pick up hair on the outside, go underneath and into the middle here. Picking up hair in this one, because it's his turn to go underneath and in the middle. So go underneath and in the middle. They all want that middle spot. It's the only way that we advance going down the head. Take this one, pick up the piece, curl underneath and down the middle. And you want to go right up until the ear. Now I'm just doing a regular braid because the Dutch braiding portion is done but I want a little more so that I can wrap this back and pin it into a half ponytail. So now I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin the back portion so we have it nice and secure. Section about this big here in the front and we're going to separate into three chunks. So now once your fingers are all ready with the three sections this one over here is going to go underneath and underneath and in between these guys first. So as you can see, he's coming around underneath. And now he's in the middle. Then this guy is on the outside and is going to pick up a little bit of hair. And now this one is going to go underneath try to bring you guys in closer so you get a good look at this. Now this one in front wants some hair too, so he's going to pick up some in the front. Go underneath in between the two.
Once your braids are in and your bobby pins are secure in the back, just creating this half ponytail, I'm going to take the bottom half of the hair and just curl any little bit of pieces that may just look like they look a little frizzy or we just want to add a little more shape to. So I'm just going to again wrap it around the barrel, keep it fairly on the loose side, but I just want to make sure the bottom half looks nice as well. completed hair tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions at all. I hope you all are having such a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!